Well, a very good evening to you. It is great to have you along for this much-anticipated game. And, of course, we want to get through it as promptly as possibly we can because, as you can see for yourself, there have been major weather issues today. The officials have made absolutely sure that it is safe. It's okay to go. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's a good football. Those have been and understandably when you take into account these most testing experiment match can be played. All of the efforts to ensure this game. Well, this is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, get ready for some high-grade football, Peter. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface, and that's a fine start in itself. And we're underway. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Romelu Lukaku, his physical characteristics are very impressive. They're always likely to attract the most attention, of course, but for me, it's not just that he's big and he's quick, it's his willingness to, to go direct with the ball at his feet, to take his man on, be brave and just head for goal. That's what makes him quite lethal. I think the opposition defence agreed too. He's going to be the source of so many of their headaches. Oh, good take in a good area. Knocks it away. Verretti. It has got through to him. Shapes the shoot! Lukaku. Inter have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but... What's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Just brushed off the ball there. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. No, that's not the ball he wanted. Marcino. Into Milan. Any sort of inroad despite all this possession. Skriniar. It is deadlocked. Florenti looking to get on the end of this. Going for goal! It's anyone's ball. Ashley Young. Stefan de Vrij. Ashley Young. It's a bit of penetration to go with all this possession. Brozovic. Ashley Young. Balls out on the left now. Martinez. Oh, that's nice. Ashley Young. Dinks one in. And play for a goal kick. Now it's Immobile. Gino, Katreva, Skriniar, Stefan de Vrij, tries to get it forward quickly, Chiesa, and it's Florenzi. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Immobile. A real chance and a real let off. Lovely control. He made it stick with an excellent touch. Machino. 
Stefan de Vrij. So who can spark this game into life? Kandreva. Skrinja. Stefan de Vrij. Jorginho. Jorginho. He's had a shot! There it is! Well, let me assure you that scoring just before half-time is always a real treat. And when it's one of your top talents who delivers it, it just seems to fuel confidence that little bit more. I can give the keeper a little sympathy here because I think he might have been slightly unsighted. However, credit where it's due, it's still a fine finish from a tight spot. A 1-0 lead established. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Skrinja. The breakthrough came in the final moments of the first period, and the score is 1-0. Jorginho battles to win it back. And it's Immobile. And it's the whistle for half-time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but that it still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A decent game up to now. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Italy leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. Already up and running for the second half. Well, one nil may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Played in by Kentra, great leap! He's done well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. It's Italy are able now to make their substitution, it's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Trevor, Brozovic, Kentreva, Pacino, that's a good ball to find him, oh that's a waste, Eriksson, the referee's awarded a free kick, making a fresh attempt to release someone in behind from back to front and this is something different the fry does well to read it and intercepts They've managed to get it away and it's Insignia Spinazzola looking to run onto it Bellotti, looking to break out here, loose ball, who's going to get there? Insigne unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Looking crossfield, changing the point of attack. He's got away, Martinez! Oh, no shortage of confidence there. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Kandreva into Milan, going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, this lead is beginning to look a little delicate. I'd rather see them show the ambition and adventure to go further ahead. 
but it seems as if they set it for a, a riskier approach now to defend us. Benucci drives it forward. Bellotti. Here it is now, surely! Pacino. And it's Ericsson. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Skriniar. Now it's Lukaku. Kandreva. Nice touch. Pacino plays it low. Brozovic. And it's Brozovic. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Stefan de Vrij. Still just that single goal and we are nearly done. Stefan de Vrij. And it's played forward, and Draver has it in a wide position, so what next? Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. That's been drilled forward. Italy just have to run down the clock. Time is ticking away, and they're playing as if they're defending a lead. They've got to get it up the pitch. Eriksson. Bonucci gets it back. Inter have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. Jorginho gets his foot in there. Jorginho. Good ball. It's one! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. They really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Two up and the referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Italy did it. Terrific team effort to satisfy both the boss and the fans. What are your thoughts on today's game, Benjamin? What I most admire about this 